Well hello, John Neal here. Uh, it's April, early April, and I'm at the Nook, which is in Bedworth, near Nuneaton, where I live. And um, this is a patch of uh, waste ground, really, which is now a nature reserve. And it's created from subsidence from the mines nearby. And uh, George, my brother-in-law, um, used to work down the mines. Um, they're not in operation anymore, they're mostly closed. But uh, what happened was there was a subsidence, there was a stream nearby and it filled this in. And the section down the middle apparently was a walkway that was built by the miners so they could walk to work to go to one of the pits up here. And it's now, as you can see, um, just an amenity, a nice amenity, a park area where you can walk around and feed the ducks. So I called into my sister Joyce and her husband George, who is now 87, and asked him about the time when he started to work in the coal pits when he was 18 in 1952. I left the pit when I was 28. Huh. So, yeah, I was just trying to work it out. So what year were you born? 33, 34. 34. Uh, so how many years did you work down the pit then? I worked from 18 to so, 28. So 10 years. And that was on the coal face, was it? I'd done, yeah, I'd done all on the, oh, first two years was on training. It was on the oil edge and that, and then you went on the coal face. Yeah. If you wanted to. Right. And the rest of the time down there, I was on the coal face. Right. Yeah. And that was, what, that was, what was the name of the pit? It was Kersley pit. Kersley for a start, Coventry Colliery, and then I transferred to Newdigate. Okay. I went straight on the coal face at Newdigate and I stayed there until I, I left. So, like, going back going back to that nuke, that, that was a sinkage from the mine works and it filled with water. Yeah. And so the, the war, they put a walkway across it so, so the miners didn't have to walk so far because a lot of them went by foot or mm -hmm. on the bikes. Or, yeah. Yeah. Not many had cars in those days. No, of course not. And uh, that was about it. Mm. It's actually fed by a stream, isn't it? There is a stream that well, feeds the nuke. Yeah, there is a stream that runs along yeah. the side of it. Well, I suppose if, if the land had sunk and there was a stream nearby, it would yeah. just go that's straight what, in anyway what, and then that's what come happened. out again. Somewhere. That's what happened. Yeah. That's what happened. Yeah. That's yeah. how it filled, I think. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because there's a, there's various other subsidences around there, aren't there? Yeah. There's, is that house still? I, I must drive up and, or near that house because there's a house on the the road near near the bypass, and you can see it. It's like that. Oh, it's just down here. Yeah, it's just down here. Just the opposite the, the bar. There's a whole row of houses yeah. there. Yeah. <coughs> and they get bought and sold. Mm. Well, I'm just thinking about that. You know. Yeah. I mean, they're leaning over quite an angle. Everything in the room must have all rolled down to the back of the yeah. room. So. 